If you want to start programming, the first thing you got to do is make a script. Obviously delete whatever's in there because that's not what you're trying to do. If you're trying to understand the basics, don't watch people code. You want to understand what is going on and you want it to be as simple as possible. So there are five main parts of programming. All the rest are things that you'll use once every 400 lines or so that don't really matter. The main code will always be in red. Everything else will be different colors. If it's made by Roblox, pre-made things like weight, print, normal, there's so many different things. There's an endless list of things that Roblox has added to the game to make your life a little easier. But those are things that you use once every 400 lines of code. There is local. There is if statements. Those you both use very much a lot. These you use quite often, but not as much. There's while, and then there's for, then there's functions. Local makes variables, and variables are like shortcuts on your computer. If you wanna open this, you would have to write, well, you just say W, just for now. Works, workspace dot uh, folder, dot folder, dot folder, damn it, folder, dot folder, dot folder, folder dot folder dot folder dot full nope we're at part part instead if you want to say this now you just write w and that is what a local local also has an equally as important purpose it is to also store data or stuff like numbers like 65 if you wanted to keep track of a number like x in math class it will remember what it is and will forever be every time you write count it will bring up 65 and you don't have to use them but it's useful this is is uh useful for deciding things so it's it's called an if statement there's more to this but generally this is what it is you if you're trying to make a decision let's say if one is greater than two then all that anything inside this will only run and if Anything inside this will only run if this is a true thing. Like, if you don't understand what true is, well, is one greater than two? No, it is not. So this is false. If, or you can, it's weird, but you can go, this works for all languages too. If one is equal to one and equal for some reason is with two equal signs, just because normally if you say e one equal sign, it means, um, but we're getting too far into this. Um, next is while. While is the same exact thing. While is the same exact thing, except it it keeps doing it until whatever it is is not true, and then it'll move on to the next thing. So it'll say while like in English terms, while true, do this. It'll just keep doing like let's while this is true, give this kid a popsicle, and it'll just keep giving this kid a popsicle until it's not no longer true. And then it's four. So four is like for this many times. There's a lot of different ways to say four. Four is a set number of times. So if you wanted to run exactly four times then that's what you use a for loop for it's we use way more often than you would think then functions you don't need to do this but functions functions are used for like if you want to if you repeat yourself over and over again instead of writing it just like a local sorry a local you can just use a function instead of writing that big old path like i showed earlier is now equal like a reassigning you can just write the function's name with, and then you'll run the same code over and over again. Most of what programming is, is just moving numbers around. So if we go to this base plate part, everybody, everybody has one pretty much when they make a new world. You'll see all these properties. If you have the properties menu on, I think it should be default on. If not, it's in view. Anyway, there will be all of these properties, right? And one of them, let's say it's whatever you want to change. Most of them don't really matter for what you want to do. Let's say position, right? it's at zero 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 if and like that is if you've ever played minecraft that is your coordinates if you wanted to move something what you would do is you would get the part by going local uh what what it where is it it's in the workspace oh where well, you gotta name it first uh part obviously it's a part so we're gonna name it part um and then it's in the workspace and then it's a base plate now we have it now we can say part and if you want to get any attribute of something you click dot and then it gives you all of the characteristics or attributes of this part i can go position parents another thing it's like going instead of it's going backwards if you wanted to go backwards in this line you'd say parent this the parent of this the parent of this is this anyway uh if you wanted to get the position you would click position to the position if you wanted to 
change the position, you would look at the position, or if you want to change anything else, orientation, all of this size, it's all pretty much the same. You would say, now this is something that's only really, it's kind of dumb because there's so many shortcuts that Roblox made themselves to make your life easier. You're going to have to turn to Google to find out what the shortcuts are. Part of being a programmer is becoming a professional Googler. If you wanted to change the position of a part, you'd have to Google how to change the position of a part in Roblox. And don't click on a video. That takes so much more time. Click on this. It says blah, blah, blah. Then you find out it's Vector 3. These are things you'll learn by just using it over and over again, and you won't have to Google. But as you can see here, it's Vector 3, and there's the three coordinates here. But it's just how you address certain aspects of an object. You would say Vector 3 dot new and then as you see right here XYZ so you go like zero 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 but obviously that's what it was before so we'd have to change that and now it's moved over one single dot now if we ran this it would move the base plate over one you wouldn't be able to see it of course because the base plate is this giant thing right here and you wouldn't notice that this moved over one single pixel so yeah and that's how most things work if you wanted to let's say there's gui uh yeah right here there's gui if you wanted to create some gui if you wanted to edit this gui with code all you do is change the numbers of the x and y if you wanted to animate it well there's just so many different aspects with all different numbers anything can be manipulated with numbers other than text and then that's just set of you just put it in brackets saying what you want the text to be and that's pretty much it